Superchargers. They also increase the intake pressure above atmospheric, sometimes much farther above atmospheric. And it's cold air pressurized, but it does, uh, it, sometimes it does take on other heat. So, the way the supercharger works, the premise, general premise of it is it's ran off of the crankshaft on a chain. And this chain is attached to a gear on a shaft, which is on an air compressor, that charges air and forces it in to each, uh, to each, like in each uh, combustion chamber. Raising the pressure, raising the volumetric efficiency of the motor, and it will prov provide anywhere from eight to, or no, six to, I don't know, maybe 15 plus increases with blower and the ram air intake, depending on how fast you're going. Increase air intake, increase fuel intake, more power, higher power potential. This is my drawing of the crank, also another very basic drawing. When I do my drawings, I like to put uh, red as a power transfer. So we have our red, red is our crankshaft, these are the connecting rods and the uh, counterweights, counterbalancers, gear transferring power through this chain up here and then we convert the cold air into hot compressed air and and inject it in here it's a v10 motor this is half, half the motor i think that'll wrap it up for the supercharged forced air induction